first of all delete the default cube and the light source then what you have to do is to download the svg file from link in description and uh, then go to file import and import the .svg file or scalable vector graphics file into the viewport now this is what it will actually look like after you have imported it into the viewport this one looks quite flat for now so what we have to do is to give it some kind of thickness and a little bit of bevel so start adding some extrude and depth to the curve data let's say for the selected curve i have added an extrude value of 0 0.05 and a depth value of 0 0.005 now for better understanding and also to reduce the size of the video i have prepared this chart or say a diagram for a hassle free workflow so you just have to select the curves one by one and apply the values as shown in the video now after you are done with applying or inputting the values uh, you will see a similar result just like it is shown in the video at, at the moment now start moving the curves upwards or downwards as shown in the video select the curves and start moving or adjusting their position for such parts which are look alike select them together otherwise select the parts step by step or one by one after you are done with it you will observe a similar kind of result as seen as seen in the video now go to front view select the camera and press alt r and alt g to bring it to the center then rotate it 90 degrees in x axis and move it backwards in y axis select all the curves rotate them 90 degrees in x axis and press r twice and then rotate it to get some kind of like the scene as shown in the video increase the focal length of the camera and shift its position to get a better look of the scene switch the render engine from ev to cycles select jeep cpu or gpu and enter viewport and render max samples to 32 and 120 respectively go to render mode and reduce world color to all the way black add an area light source to the viewport select the light and move it upwards add a plane mesh to the viewport move it downwards then scale it and go to edit mode then go to edge select and select the desired edge and move it upwards then add a bevel modifier to the plane with amount to 1 and segments to 10 apply shade smooth select the area light and change its shape from square to disk also increase the power to 100 watts and change the size to 4 meters and move it upwards make a few adjustment to the light uh, like uh, rotating it and moving it upwards or backwards and also try to increase or decrease the uh, power of the light source to get a better look for your scene for the shading part select the desired curve then press on use nodes and uh, select the desired base color let's say black for this curve 
and uh, increase specular value to 1 and reduce roughness to somewhere between 0.2 and 0.3 now select the black colored curves first and then the curve with the material 1 and uh, press ctrl plus L to link the material you can increase or decrease the roughness as per your choice Now perform the same step of adding materials to other curve similarly as shown in the previous one. One thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to just change the colors and the remaining settings will work the same. After you have finished applying the materials, uh, you will see a similar kind of result uh, as it is shown in the video or you can also go with a different color of your choice. Select the light source and move it to a different angle to get a better view. And you can also change the background color to something more dark. In color management, change the view transform from filmic to standard and the look to very high contrast. Also you can increase or decrease the exposure of the scene. Before rendering out the image, make sure that the render U value of all the curves are set to 64 to get a smoother output while rendering. Now render out the image to see how does it looks. Now after the image is rendered, save it on your computer and that should be enough for today's video. Thank you so much to everyone for watching the video. If you found the video useful, do drop a like and hope to see you all in the next video. Till then stay tuned and keep learning.